this at the end of the day is a family venture that hopefully continues to build a legacy for our daughter, but also builds a legacy for our people here. We both are passionate about community. We're both passionate about black books. I've had an experience working in a black bookstore since when I was in college. That really stuck with me. And that's something that we did when, when we were dating. We were just, go, that was just, a, that was a date. We would go to the bookstore. We just hang out, we'd just be there for an hour. And you'd find in a lot of places, less than 5% of their books spoke directly to people of the African diaspora. And this is in, in some places where black folk make up maybe 25% of the population. The actual logo is actually a, a picture of her reading a book with her little puffs. It'll always be represented with her name and her likeness on the, in the logo. I am proud that I get to do this with him and I get to do it with our daughter. Online taught us a lot of things, but there's something about having people come into a space. Um, and so that was always something important to us. Uh, the thing that we've tried to do is like infuse ourselves into the bookstore, into whatever we did. It went, we wanted to reflect who we, are, who we are, our values, our culture. What defines this area is this, it's the people, this community. This, these are generations upon generations of people who have lived here, who have worked and um, given everything they can to grow and raise their family to give them a better chance, like my father did for me, and that's what Anacostia is. There's no reason why the books that are on there, are these shelves and about our history had to be across town. And so the access was something that was important. You know, why does this community have to go, you know, jump through hoops to, to do something that's a basic um, and normal piece of American life? When we look around our bookstore at the thousands of books that are here, there's images of beautiful black faces on the covers of these books. Because there's nothing like walking in and, and little kids seeing a, a picture of themselves on the cover of a book. And it's powerful for little people in our community to see themselves represented in that. And one day, if they're bold enough, if they're brave enough, if they trust themselves big enough and hard enough, that we'll be able to walk into the space that they create too and celebrate with them. And I want them to know that they can do that no matter what that is. We are representations of it.